doing? But I only want them out there so you can see it. Okay. okay. I'll get mine out there then so you can <laughs> see it. So let's stack the deck, Kim. We just made three signs using three tools. The click it, the click it, <laughs> the clo forge, and the X-Clar. <laughs> okay. All right, come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> we just used three tools to make three signs. We used a cricket, a glowforge, and an X-Carve to make some, like, uh, Father's Day gifts. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we do it every Friday. This week, we're making three signs with three different tools using three different methods using three hands. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make her do it with one hand tied for time with one uh -huh. hand tied for behind her back <laughs> for all the projects. These signs could be for an office, a garage, they could be for like a Father's Day gift. I feel like I'm making my own Father's Day gifts. Man cave. A man cave. <laughs> if you have a man that lives in a cave. Yeah, you might be getting these for Father's Day. I have a feeling I'm getting these for Father's Day. <laughs> so I've seen them and one has my name on it. <laughs> sign number one. We're going to use our Cricut to do sign number one. We needed two one by twos. We're going to use those for a frame. And then a half inch project board, the plywood stuff. 24 inch by 24 inch. Not even going to cut it. Just leaving it like it is. We are going to cut the 1x2s down to fit this piece of plywood like a frame. Like a frame. Like it's going to be a frame. Oh. <laughs> As a frame? Yeah. As a frame. <laughs> so to make all my cuts, I'm going to use my pocket saw. Came from the other side this time. <laughs> Didn't see it coming, did you? Do you want to stain or paint? I want to do both. Well, I was going to paint the frame. If you were going to stain this, are you going to stain and paint? Oh. I'll go take a break. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, no, we're going to do both. <laughs> I'll, I'll stain, I guess. I'll stain. All right. I'm desperate to get them all in my hands with no gloves. Oh, I'll stain. You paint. <laughs> You paint. It's chalk paint. I'll stain. I'll stain. <laughs> oh, now it's time to paint. Well, I'm going to stain. She's I'm going to paint. paint. <laughs> She's going to paint the frame black. And I'm going to paint this. Oh, I'm going to stain it. Kona. Kona. Sounds so Hawaiian. It does. Vera Thane's Kona. All right, eh? And what are you using? I'm just using... Waverly ink. Yes. All right, it's looking pretty good, just with some stain on it. But we're gonna add some black in here, make it look a little, like, distressed. Okay. We're gonna dry brush. All right, then I'm gonna need the plate, right? You just need a scooch. There you go. Oh, that's, that's a big scooch. It's a big scooch. That's, that's more like a scouch. <laughs> Scout. <laughs> Let's go dry brush it around in the middle a bit. Yeah, I think the center should have should be pretty black and just the edges. You show the brown around the edges, and then we will distress through to the brown. You with me? You feeling it? I'm Are you feeling, feeling it? it? I got you now. I'm feeling it. <laughs> All right, that's good. You're painting too much. You're just covering the board now. No, 
That looks good. <laughs> no, it looks good. Got distracted, started talking. That is getting lint everywhere. Stop doing that. <laughs> Look at all the... Nope. Just a couple more of those. <laughs> Next step, we'll use our Cricut to cut out a stencil to put on here. And then we'll add the white paint and distress it. We have our stencil all cut. We have our transfer tape on. For this one, we use the Orcal 631, which is removable vinyl, which is also good for stenciling. But I know you've seen us use our Aura Mask 813, which is a stencil vinyl, but both will work. And we're using this Aurafol transfer tape, which is just great. It is great transfer tape. It's a dream. Yes, it's just sticky enough, not too sticky, just sticky enough to hold it on there and it pulls off really well. It doesn't pull your vinyl, doesn't really pull your vinyl with it. As I see a little piece of vinyl come up. <laughs> okay, and like we say every time, you'll want to Add a coat of Mod Podge over your stencil first so that when you add your paint, it doesn't bleed under the stencil. Doesn't add any more than just a couple of minutes to your project, and it really makes it come out with like perfect results. Time for the paint. I'm going to add the white to the stencil. Make those letters pop. Until we distress them. Yeah, and then we'll make them <laughs> unpop. Yeah, and then we'll... We'll pop them and unpop them. We'll pop them and unlock them. Pop them and unlock them. So we don't want this to dry all the way. We just want it a little bit damp. Because if it dries all the way, the stencil will peel the paint. So you, you don't want it to be really wet because you don't want to end up with it on your hands but you don't want it all the way dry either. And it's best to pull against the grain. Bam! Look how crisp those lines are. Mod Podge trick. And now we're gonna uncrisp the lines with some uh, <laughs> sandpaper. All that work to make them perfect. <laughs> Set on it, you know. A little distress. All right, those one by twos. Now we're gonna pin them to the side like a frame, or a frame. <laughs> like a frame. You keep saying like a frame because it's not a real frame. Not a real frame. <laughs> I'm gonna pin it with a one and a quarter inch bread. The nail, not the guy. Ugh. Sign one, a done. We're gonna have you guys vote at the end. Which of the three signs looks the best? Was the easiest? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with some criteria by the time we get to the end. <laughs> Sign number two. We're just gonna use these two one eighth th thick. One eighth inch thick. <laughs> God, that is a lot harder to say than it seems. Go ahead, try it. Say it five times fast. I'll wait. <laughs> Didn't do it, did you? <laughs> so we're just gonna take these two one and oh, I'm not even gonna get that out. Would you like me to do it? Yes. We're going to take these two one eighth inch four <laughs> thick boards. <laughs> over to the Glowforge and cut out our designs. I got this design from Laser Sharks. I found them on Etsy. Actually, I found them on Facebook and then went to Etsy. They got a ton of great designs. 
with some cool instructions that tells you exactly how to do this, how to position it in the glue forge, how to cut it, and then it gets vague on the paint and glue. <laughs> Bam, look at that. That's the cutout with the scoring. And then this one's the cutout. I taped it in so it wouldn't fall out. So we're gonna paint the cutout white and we're gonna paint the back black. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Now we're gonna glue the cutout onto the black backer using my favorite E6000. Stuff takes forever to dry. Well, it's too slow for me. So our plan is to add the adhesive to the backer board using these score marks as guides. Bam! Can you guys see that? Not I'm not like gonna that. hold it vertical. <laughs> Do, yeah, you guys there see you it go. Up there? Yes. <laughs> uh, pretty cool, huh? Remember, we're voting at the end. This is only number two. Sign number three. We just needed a 18 by 20 piece of project board, project panel, whatever. You can buy them as a project panel. Yeah. We just cut it down to. 18 by 20. Yes. Well, it was already 20, right? We just cut it down. Yeah, it was 20 by 36. I just cut it in half. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give this one another stain with Kona. Then we're going to mask it and bring it down to the x corner. All right, our plan was to put this design on this board and show you the carving features of the X-Carve <laughs> and have it all 3D carved and everything. Two things happened. One, the original carve that I did made me have two tools, two bits, and it was taking like 10 hours. <laughs> so I tried a different bit and that was only two and a half hours but then we couldn't get the bit to stay in the router, so this, plan B. this project is a, <laughs> isn't going to happen. So, plan B! <laughs> I'm going to take this piece of plywood down to the X-Carve, and I'm going to cut out this other design that I just threw together in a couple of minutes, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I will tell you that I have given him one design, and I already know he has switched it up to a completely different design. <laughs> I had to make it custom. I had yeah. to make it custom. I'll meet you guys back down there. And I, I threw this thing down and I put it on fire because I, I couldn't find any spray paint. <laughs> well that, and then there was a bunch of little fuzz around the edges and I didn't feel like doing all that sanding. So I figured if I burned off the little fuzz, the little wood fuzz, it would look okay and then I just kept burning it and I thought it looked really cool. Yeah, honestly this is how it started. He started with burning the fuzz with his little lighter. I have a lighter. <laughs> and then next thing you know, he decides to get the torch out to see what it would look like if he burned it with a burned finish. Yeah. And then the whole thing's burnt. Yeah. But it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Born fire. Bam! Project number three. Sign number three. Can you guys see it? Pretty cool. 
Let me hold it up over here. <laughs> Let me see it better now. It's supposed to be Cranks, Chain Ring, Garrett's Bike Shop. with that thing. Now I got it now. I got it. But the heavier the easier. Does it look like too heavy? I guess that made no sense. Alright, what do you guys think? Three tools, three signs, three different techniques. We had sign one using the cricket and uh, just a uh, a piece of plywood? What do you guys think? Huh? Vote, vote down below. Vote down below. <laughs> Sign two, all Glowforge with some paint. Looks pretty tight. I think it looks very crisp. I enjoy it. I like it. <laughs> and then sign three, born from fire. Using the X carve, we carved it out. We didn't actually do like any 3D carving, but we did cut it out. And then we threw it on fire. Pretty easy. This is sign number three. So you guys, leave us a vote down below. And if you enjoy this video, give us a like down below. Should I close it out? Just close it out. See you guys next week. Yeah, see you next week.